I guess that's the most surprising about our channel is that it is that um, I didn't think that people would be so into the upbringing stuff. Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. Cody Brown from Sister Wives has two younger brothers who recently started a podcast and YouTube channel called The Brothers Random. And today they are coming up on one year of running their channel on YouTube. They spoke out in their most recent video about the hate they've received regarding Sister Wives from fans or anti-fans and all the weird interactions and lessons they've learned. I guess like you know, about be interested in learning about our upbringing in polygamy. Yeah. Is that yeah. Yeah, cuz I just didn't think to me and you it's like really uninteresting and for some reason that seems to be the thing that everybody's interested in, right? Okay. When I first became aware of this channel about a year ago, I was excited as I assumed they would be discussing polygamy, how they grew up and maybe even the dynamics of their family. But no, I was wrong. Um, yeah, well, and it, a lot of that could possibly be because we have a little bit of uh, overlap with uh, people that watch Cody's show. Yeah. Uh, and so there, it's kind of just the nature of the beast. There's probably a lot. The brothers have made it specifically clear that their YouTube channel is their own thing, totally separate from Cody, Sister Wives, Polygamy, and the AUB. They rarely, if ever, discuss Cody. A lot of that. I was, um, I, I guess, I mean, not to piss off more people, but I guess I was surprised by the hate. They did go down a rabbit hole once or twice about their father and their childhood growing up, which was very interesting to listen to. But otherwise, they've remained devoted to chatting about philosophy, religion. They're big fans of Jordan Peterson. And they also talk about things like cultural influences, primarily through looking at movies, which is an interesting idea for a channel. I have not seen a lot of the movies that they've referenced specifically, but if you are interested in debating with them or delving deeper into understanding their own personal philosophy, you should check out their videos on the Brothers Random. They seem very open to debating and speaking back and forth with their subscribers and other channels as well. I'll never forget when they offered for Katie Joy Paulson from Without a Crystal Ball <laughs> to come on their channel and debate with them. But of course, when their most recent video came out, I was personally most interested in the small portion about what they had to say regarding Cody and the Sister Wives craze. Uh, and it's basically people that hate Cody and his show or or hate watch it i guess is the best way to put it like right. this is a new phenomenon that's happening like the last 15 years where people will watch a show hate watchers yeah that they because they hate it watch it yeah it really seems to me that a lot if not most of cody's family and friends are not fully aware of how popular the sister wives are all the money that swarms around it all the media surrounding cody and his family they just are not fully aware of how crazy it is <laughs> and then they'll like get online and type like oh i hate this about this and i hate this yeah, guys, that fully sounds like us and me. <laughs> I do. I'm like fully invested in this family in many ways. It's definitely gotten old over the seasons. I've come to understand how much of it is very fake. Um, but we are invested. We've been watching these kids since they were little. And now there's so much uh, crises going on within the family that it's hard to not feel very, very attached to all of it. But I understand that it's hard for them when people come over to their show and try to make it all about Cody. And what was so crazy is that it was like, they they come over to our show and we're like, we're doing something different here, guys. Yeah. Like, wh wh why are you, why are you yeah. coming at us? It's like, like we're yeah, that is really un unfortunate, right? Like, so many of us have become disgusted with Cody's behavior on screen. Now, is that his real behavior? Is everything real that we're seeing on the show? Probably not. So when we're confronted by people that are in his family that we believe may be supporting him, um, I can see how some fans would take it, fans or anti-fans, would take it a little bit too far. And it sounds like the Brothers Random have experienced some of that. And let's be honest, one of the main concerns about the entire show is the way that polygamy and the AUB supports patriarchy, okay? 
Um, we can discuss that. There's a lot that could be debated about it. But when you go to the Brothers Random channel, you realize very quickly that the Brothers Random, they really support and believe in Jordan Peterson. And a lot of people would equate some of that with supporting patriarchy, right? Debatable, of course. I'm sure you can go to their show and check it out and see what they have to say about it. But there are definitely reasons why people would lump the brothers in with Cody and unfortunately be maybe hyper critical of them in kind of an unfair way. Because once again, we've been sucked into the emotionality of this reality show. And it's not enjoyable if you tell yourself that it's all fake anyway, so you have no reason to be invested in it. So people like Cody and the Sister Wives, they want us to keep staying invested <laughs> so they can keep making money off of it, right? Um, it's kind of a whirlwind of fuckery going on here. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the video that we're doing it's, here. Yeah, it's, it's like nothing to do, but sure, okay, whatever. <laughs> The brothers talk about how they've gotten a lot of comments on their videos where people will not address the subject matter at hand at all. They'll just be like, well, guess what? Cody said this. And the brothers are kind of like, well, this doesn't have anything to do with Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching, man. Um, that yeah, That's it, what got me is, is I guess I didn't realize the amount of hate that people would have. And it, it's interesting to think of Cody's show because at one point, it, he, it was a popular show for the right reasons. Interesting. What are the right reasons, I wonder? I think, I think that what they might be saying is that the show used to be popular because it was showing the positive side of polygamy. It was showing a loving and caring family, and we became invested in it for those reasons, possibly. And now it's more popular because of all the turmoil. Maybe that's what he's getting at. Um, but it's interesting because the brothers early on in the show state that they are not polygamous, and they never see themselves living any kind of polygamous lifestyle. You know, it was family oriented and all that kind of stuff. And now it's a popular show for all the wrong reasons because his whole family's imploding and and it's and people hate watch it. That's pretty much yeah. what it is. Interesting. So, I mean, I would argue that I don't think all of us actually literally hate watch the show. I'm sure there are some people. I think they're probably the minority. Just my opinion. I mean, I really started watching that show because I was deeply interested in learning about a different way of living, a different culture. Um, it brought forth like a lot of good things that I could see coming out of being in this kind of a different relationship that I had never seen or experienced before. Even if it wasn't for me, I still was like, oh, wow, this is interesting. Um, as time has gone on and we've watched the family implode, yes, that's been really hard to see. I mean, I still carry forth some of the positives from it. I mean, I think that there are a lot of lessons learned and I don't watch it to hate, although I do make some like funny, maybe hate filled <laughs> uh, videos about Robin sometimes. And it's hard not to um, when you kind of look at it from the, the perspective of I put myself as like I would be the first wife, you know, um, but overall, like if I met these people out on the street, I would not be hateful to them. You know, I would just be like, oh, these are people that I've watched you know, grow on this show and especially the kids. I'm always like heavily invested in wanting the kids to do super well. And I think a lot of the fandom feels that way. Um, but I think the people that would come over to the Brothers Random Show and give them hate are probably very much hate watchers. So unfortunately, they're probably not getting the positive side of the fandom of Sister Wives and only getting the negative. Yeah. You know, and you and I, I don't even know what's going on the show. Like I, yeah. I only hear it through other people that talk to me about it. And right. I'm like, okay, so this is what I was saying. I've heard from so many places that people in Cody's life, they don't watch the show. The kids don't watch the show. The only people who watch the show now are McKelty and Gwen. And that's just so that they can do their social media videos, right? Which makes me think that everybody kind of knows the show is fake, that Cody and all the wives probably go around saying like, don't even watch the show. It's not our real lives. Like it's just an act that we put on because otherwise, why wouldn't they watch it? It would be like home movies, but they're probably like, we don't watch it because it's it's not even real. Um, yeah, so the Brothers Random are also kind of like that. They've always said they don't really watch the show or know that much about it. 
I don't watch the show, dude. I don't, I don't it's care. Like, I have no idea. I mean, sometimes I'll talk to Cody and uh, and I'm sad for what he's going through. And With everything, he gets to, yeah. what's weird is he gets to go through it twice. Okay. So just to let you know, I believe that Cody has been on the Brothers Random Channel once. And I'm pretty sure it was just in a short. And it was when they were like doing something like going to a party or going to watch some kind of a movie in Las Vegas. But I don't think they ever like interviewed him. I'm sure they didn't interview him. That would have been all over the <laughs> hate fan websites or whatever. Um, he was just, you know, in a quick short for them. They were all going to go see a movie together. So, you know, they do see each other. They do have a relationship with Cody I it doesn't sound like it's like an every day they hang out all the time type of thing and it's interesting to hear one of the brothers say he's like I just actually feel really sad for the guy and everything that he's going through once again because we have these relation quote unquote relationships with these people but we're really just watchers of a show we forget that like they have real lives and real feelings and um, for sure <laughs> I am not uh, very much a Cody sympathizer <laughs> um, but but, and especially after, I think, watching Moreau and I, Jessup, I look at him as being like, because I do think it's very hard to be in Cody's shoes. I ask myself, like, why would anyone want to be Cody? Why would anyone want to take on multiple wives and have to fulfill the needs of so many people and so many children? I get that. I've always thought that from the very beginning. I thought he had one of the hardest roles in the family in certain ways, okay? Um, but over time, I've come to realize that he's just really acting like a douchebag on the show. Okay, and I really can't stand behind that. I don't like the lack of relationship that he has with each of his children. I do think that he kind of leaves behind the old for the new. That's what we see on the show. That's what we see when we watch Gwen and McKelty speak out about everything. It is sad, but he's helped to make it very sad. Um, so, yeah, I think that it's interesting to think about like in real life, he does believe he's having a really hard time. It almost sounds like the brothers are like, yeah, the guy's pretty depressed and we feel bad for him. Because he gets to go through it while it's happening. And then after, and then a year later, after the show airs, after they've shot it, he gets to go through it again. Okay, this is so true. This is something we don't think about is that it, it definitely seems to be the case that, you know, these events happen and then they have to, like, years later go through recording, like, reunions about them. And also, like, years later, it's like their kids watch everything and probably come to them and ask them questions about it. And they're having to relive a lot of really hard times. And I'm sure that's difficult for everyone in the family. Because yeah. he's, like, promoting the show and stuff like that. And it's just, it's, it saddens me because he has to go through it twice. You know, mm -hmm. and I, I'm, we're not here to make judgments on it or anything like that because I don't watch the show. Okay, okay. So if you were going to watch it, you should watch the early episodes. Those are the best. Season one, season two, season three, then stop. Those are the best episodes. Maybe watch the season where Mary, you know, talks about catfishing and also watch my series on the fifth wife. <laughs> That's the best series of them all. I don't care about the show. I care about my brother care about what he's going through that's it hmm. well that's a good human and normal response to have it's great that these brothers of cody brown are not shaded by like their view of cody doesn't seem to be shaded by the fame or the show or the money like they definitely do not exploit cody or the show on their channel really at all um which is interesting because i'm over here exploiting the heck out of that show <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, I, they clearly want to do their own thing. They clearly care about their brother. They say that they're sad for him, everything that he's gone through. It's hard for me. Like, I am disappointed that I wish as the show has become less and less real for me and, like, we're kind of moving on um, from – really any kind of real structure that isn't completely shaded by the millions of dollars that they have. I really would like to know more about this culture and this society. I enjoy learning about the way that fundamentalist Mormons choose to live. Um, and I do wish that the Brothers Random would like open up more about their childhoods, open up more about the culture that they grew up in and that they're still around. I mean, I think that that's exceedingly interesting maybe they don't understand like how different it is for the mainstream person outside of mormonism yeah. and <clears throat> the show is everything's heightened on the show and i mean it's it is tough like 
hearing secondhand because we don't watch the show, but we hear secondhand some of the stuff and it is tough to hear because we love all these people. Hmm, for sure. Like for sure. Um, oh gosh, I would love to know so much more about like what relationships do they have to Cody's kids? I mean, he has so many of them. What relationships do they have to the mothers? You know, do they love Janelle, Mary, Christine? Were they good friends with all of them? Did they grow up around them? I'd like to know more about it. But once again, that isn't what their channel is all about. Um, But I feel like they have so much that they could contribute to our understanding, not just of Cody and his family, but like the whole entire entire culture, where everyone is coming from. You know, I'd like to know more about Cody's dad. It's just interesting to me, the psychology of all of it. Um, You know, I'm surprised that... They don't want to go down that rabbit hole on their show. But then I can also understand why, because I look at like all the hate and anger. um, I'm sure Cody and Robin are dealing with. Like these are all people that we've known for years. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, And so. And they're going uh, through a tough time. And And they're going through hard. It's really hard to watch that. I mean, they're going through a tough time with the world watching them. Okay, so this is just the beginning of their most recent video. There's a lot more to the video. I think it's over an hour long. Um, I just wanted to discuss it a little bit with you guys, let you know that it's over there and you should go take a look at it and see what Cody's brothers have to say. Um, I do find it quite interesting. Check out the brothers random on YouTube for the good and the bad of it. I know not all of us will fully agree with their philosophy or maybe even what they're talking about on their channel, but that doesn't mean we can't listen. That doesn't mean that we can't um learn more about their perspective i don't know i enjoy going over there i enjoyed listening to this episode so thank you so much for being here tonight i hope you'll join me again next time as we head down another rabbit hole and maybe fifth wife will make an appearance much love to all of you see you again tomorrow